one of us will be asking questions. Justice David Maraga had been among those expected to be highly considered for the position of Chief Justice. And unlike most of his competitors, he has had the experiences of being both an advocate of many years in practice as well as a judge of more than 10 years. The Judicial Service Commission picked him after a week of deliberations which took them even to The Hague. David Maraga was chosen because he emerged best in the categories that were set out by the Judicial Service Commission uh, and because we did not have to deal with any other issues beyond that, we nominated Justice David Maraga for this position. Mm. The Commission has however declined to reveal the ranking indicating how all the 13 who had applied for the job performed. The appointment of the Chief Justice has been a touchy affair given that the occupant will be the head of the judiciary and the Supreme Court which determines presidential petitions. With the numerous interests represented in the JSC, the Commission says its decision was sober and independent. It is very difficult to influence the Judicial Service Commission. Very difficult. Try it. You will not succeed. This choice was not predetermined. This choice was a choice that emerged out of the process. And as I told you, the process has been grueling. It has been difficult. We have taken time, but eventually a candidate has been presented to His Excellency the President. During his vetting, Maraga promised that he would work hard to end corruption in the judiciary, ensure there is sufficient funds to handle judicial affairs, and clear the backlog of cases. He also promised to ensure that all Kenyans have access to justice. The staunch Seventh-day Adventist, however, said it would be hard to get him to work on a Saturday. How do you go about a hearing that stretches to the weekends? It will be difficult to, for me to sit on, uh, on Saturday. I will uh, talk with my colleagues and see how they can accommodate me and we, even if it means we sit late and deal with that situation. He has also proposed that all election petitioners should have only one right of appeal and that the Supreme Court should only listen to presidential petitions. If um, Parliament does not uh, accept our proposal and, uh, uh, and amend the constitution, we are going to have uh, those uh, petitions or those appeals going up to the, to, the, to the Supreme Court. Despite these views, it is highly unlikely that Justice Maraga will face any opposition when he appears before Parliament for vetting. He comes from a community that has not been represented in the Supreme Court before and he has been highly regarded among his peers as a sober lawyer and judge. Andrew Ochin, NTV.